Tennyson writes, he says, Hi, Paul. Love your videos and thanks for the information that you share. Well, my pleasure, sir. I appreciate you watching. I have a two-channel system which is driven by two Class AB monoblock amplifiers. My subwoofer amplifier recently got damaged and I opened it to fix it. Now, what I saw inside was a Class D amplifier. Elizabeth, I'm coming home. <laughs> I don't know, Mary, you guys remember the Jeffersons. Okay, so my question is, which class subwoofer amp will match with my monoblocks? Is it okay to go with a class D, or should I replace it with a class AB, which I personally believe would be a perfect match for better synergy? Well, you agree with my friend John Hunter, who owns Rel Subs, and Rel Subs, I think, pretty much always have class AB amplifiers, and John very much likes the sound of Class AB amplifiers matching Class AB amplifiers within the system. I don't agree with John. I think Class D amplifiers are terrific in a subwoofer. And when PS Audio goes to build our line of subwoofers, which may be 2024, 2023, we'll start putting out subs we will absolutely put in Class D amplifiers. I think when it comes to subs, the Class D is a wonderful way to go. It's quick, it is powerful, I can put far more watts in it and give you much deeper excursion. I mean, the subwoofer Chris uh, Brunhaber is talking about making is this massive woofer that has four inch peak to peak excursion. Think about that. Four inches of peak to peak excursion. I'll bet your subwoofer would be lucky to have an inch. Seriously. And part of the reason that we can do that is because we have a huge amount of power available in a class D amplifier. So for my thoughts, class D is the way to go in a subwoofer for sure. Now, my good friend John, as I said at REL, I, and he knows I'm a big fan. I, every subwoofer I have, whether it's at home in my home theater, whether it's upstairs in Music Room 3, is a Class AB amplified REL sub. I love REL subs. They're great. But time moves on and opinions <laughs> move, and RELs will always be great. I love RELs. So, what would happen in a real shootout? I don't know. Much of this is intellectual, but I have stuck with Class D amplifiers for subwoofers for years. When we were at Genesis, we started with an AB and then moved on to a Class D. So I think you're okay. I would not go to the trouble of changing it just because you have a Class D. That is for sure. So thanks for the question. Talk to you later.